What's up guys, Jacob Ober here, coming to you with another episode of Brew Talk. This is the third episode of the year after the opening day episode and the episode last Sunday after we beat the Cardinals on a walk-off double by Christian Yelich. Today, the Milwaukee Brewers complete a two out of three series victory against the Chicago Cubs. Fantastic series to watch, lots of offense all around, except for the last game, of course, but there was still, you know, some moments, some big home runs. Yelich hit his 100th career home run in the first inning off of Kyle Hendricks today, and Wilson Contreras also hit a home run, uh, I believe in the sixth inning it was, to cut the deficit to two, but uh, the, Brewer, the Brewers sent out Josh Hader for the final two and two-thirds of the game, and Josh Hader retired the final eight batters to get the series victory for the Milwaukee Brewers. They win today 4-2. to two. Uh, And really, you know, the past week for the Brewers has been phenomenal. They only lost one game, and that was last night, the 14-8 to eight game against the Cubs. Uh, and they completed a, a series sweep of the Cincinnati Reds earlier this week as well, uh, the Monday to Wednesday series they played. And, of course, the first series of the year, they took three out of four from the Cardinals. But um, it's been a phenomenal start to the season for the Brewers, and it's even sweeter that all three of these series victories to open the season have come against division rivals, especially the series that we just won today against the Cubs. I cannot stand the Chicago Cubs. There's nothing more in the world that I hate than those fans and their team, how arrogant some of their players are, how annoying their fans are when they come up to our stadium to watch our games. I cannot stand those fans. I cannot stand that fan base, that franchise, that organization. It feels so good to beat them. I believe this is the 10th time in the past 14 tries that the Brewers have beaten the Cubs. So it's been a pretty good streak the Brewers have been on. And they have practically owned the Cubs for the past uh, few months here of baseball uh, season, I should say. So August, September, and now the beginning of April. Coming up next week for the Brewers, they're going on a, wo a road trip west to L.A. to face the Angels and the Dodgers. Uh, it should be much, much nicer weather for baseball out there than it is going to be up here uh, in Wisconsin. We're supposed to get some pretty crappy weather this next week. Uh, might even see a few inches of snow in the middle of the week. So uh, if you haven't heard about that, go check the the weather because it, it, it might get a little messy up here in Wisconsin. But um, hopefully the Brewers are able to continue their hot streak on the road in their first true road trip of the year. Uh, it's been really, really entertaining uh, to this point, at least, we're 8-2 and two through 10 games and have the best record in the NL and the NL Central. It's been a phenomenal start, one that you would uh, expect from one of the best teams in baseball. But there is a little bit of concern with the Brewers right now, and that concern is with the bullpen. Outside of Hayter and maybe a few select performances from some other guys, the bullpen has not been that great to start the season thus far. And you might be wondering, you know, I mean... Uh, we, we might have to make some moves here. I know we already did send Taylor Williams down um, for a right-handed a, a right -handed pitcher. I can't remember his first name, but his last name is Patricka. Um, but uh, maybe we see Adrian Hauser come up in the next uh, few days or so. Maybe we send down a guy like Jacob Barnes or something. But um, hopefully the Brewers' bullpen is able to get it back together. The starters have actually done pretty well with the exception of uh, Woodruff and Burns, of course. Uh, but, I mean, Zach Davies has had some really nice games. Ch Chassin has had some nice games. Peralta had that gem against uh, Cincinnati in the series finale of that game. So uh, it's been a bit of a mixed bag for the starting rotation. But overall, I think they've been pretty good. And the bullpen, you know, you you'd like to see them uh, go out and, uh, you know, make some AAA moves or maybe even sign a guy on the, on the market. You know, of course, Craig Kimbrell's name is still out there. But I've heard that they might... Uh, not be considering him for a while, or at least until after the draft. So if they do indeed sign him, they won't lose a draft pick. Uh, but, I mean, I, I, it doesn't really seem like his asking price is coming down, and that's why Kimbrell is still on the market. But uh, you never know, of course. I mean, they could very well make a move for him tonight. You never know with uh, the Brewers organization and how secretive they are under David Stearns. But and in, in all respect, let's just hope that the Brewers continue winning ball games. Their pitching was good today. Let's hope that they can continue being good throughout the next few series at least, and hopefully we can get a couple more series dubs in the next couple weeks. But anyways, guys, though, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the comments section below. Are you guys concerned about the Brewers' bullpen or the Brewers' pitching in general to start the season? And how excited are you that the Brewers started 8-2? and two? Leave your comment in the comments section below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Brewers!